All right, so any questions? Okay, yeah, please have a question. Okay. Um, the, the image I sent in the chat, mm -hmm. like, I just wanted to know what that error means. Okay, so let me bring up the chat and see. Uh, zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. okay uh so chats okay i'm trying to open it all right uh okay so this is what we have right that's the that's the error you are talking about right so yes. the the error basically is saying that so input power input power pin not driven by any output power pin okay so it means that you are trying to connect something that is an input so you see uh, this particular pin here have you defined the have you defined what do we call it the power flags have you defined them no i didn't exactly so so far as you have not defined them kika doesn't know that this but uh, flag that you have here it's an output power pin you haven't declared it to key card is that okay so please quickly define those power pins and then you should have everything sorted up right so this is key cards way of helping you know that you are making some mistakes somewhere it can do this but not uh, uh, to any much extent okay so please these things are not things you choose to do okay so far as your power is not coming from your circuit directly and it's coming from a connector you have to define these things and let you can know that when you put these things onto something it becomes a power connection it's telling Kika that the power is coming from somewhere so you should treat it as such okay so please do that okay okay thank you very much you're welcome please my second question okay it was about the five watts resistor yes. i saw that like um, um on the aliexpress mm -hmm. when you searched for the resistor i saw there was another type of resistor that came. exactly so like what made you choose this one okay so five watts resistor so the thing is you will get the resist the five watt resistors in different forms and in different shapes right the question is which of them do you want to use or which of them can you get so this is actually a five watt resistor okay but yeah. do you want to use this if that's what you want to use you can just select it right but then i know oh. these ones are very common here in fact if you go to a doom right now one of our sponsors if you contact the sponsors uh, those who sell the the components you can they can easily get this for you okay so i chose this because i have i i know it or probably i have it right so probably you have it in your stock you don't need to buy something new but if this is what you want to use you can always go ahead in fact these are also another types this one stands vertical okay so for the resistors they come in different different shape you just have to choose one that fits your application okay, okay. exactly exactly and then my last question okay. that one is also related to the cement resistor so it was based on the dimensions mm -hmm. right yes i saw that like the dimensions it was 22 and then 9.5 and 9.5 yes so you choosing the 25 that one i understand because like you have to like at least you have to give some space where you sold that exactly too. but then 9.5 i saw you chose something different there i'm confused uh, so the 9.5 okay the, the 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 dimension that we got here this one said it's 9.5 right okay yes uh, let us bring up something else so technically these things may differ a little bit uh, let me get something that is let's see let's see for the dimensions, depending on who me who did that measurement, you would see a little bit of variation, right? Let's see this. Okay, so look at this one. So here it says C, C here. In the previous guy's work, he said for the five watt, it was nine point five, right? But I see that this one is saying it is nine plus or minus one. So basically okay. nine mm as I choose, right? And the B is somewhere around 10 
So B is this. So uh, that is it. And so, so let's say if I were to be buying the thing from, let's say, DigiKey, DigiKey would accurately put the information of the particular component you are buying, right? So if I go to digikey.com and then I search for 5 watts resistance, 5 watt rest, okay? So you see we have different uh, things here. We are looking for, no, not chassis mounts. Uh, we are not looking for surface mount. We are looking for true holes. Okay, so let's select true holes. Digi key, I always can trust they will put the accurate information about the component. You see, that is one thing I wish the China, uh, AliExpress guys did. Okay, so over here, I want three ohm, so I can scroll down. Uh, to the ohm, I want values in ohms, not milli ohms. So yes, I put that filter. So I'm looking for a minimum of three. Okay, so this should help me clear, clear, clear. Oh, why am I not getting anything anyway? So I want five watts and I want cement. So you see that DigiKey key actually makes the selection quite simpler. Five mm -hmm. watt cement, and then if I hit apply. It will bring me all resistors that are. So you can see oh, these are all versions, different versions of what I'm looking for. I can see that most of them are also five five percent tolerance. Okay. So let's say I choose to go. So here you can also look for price difference. So you can see that all of them is zero point six four per one. While we were getting it for like one point one four for ten pieces on AliExpress, right? So yeah, things these components are quite expensive in the US than you get in China. But I think also it has to do with quality. Is that okay? It has to do with quality. All right. So if this is what I want, I can click on it. And for Digi Key, you can always trust their dimension. So one thing is you can check the data sheets for more things. Or DigiQ will always give you a summary of what you are buying. So it says five watt, five percent. Forget about the ohms. You just have to select the right value. Okay. At the dimension is what we are looking for. So you see, nine point five by nine by twenty-two. Is that okay? Nine point five by nine by twenty-two, which is actually closer to the thing that we selected. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's why I'm confused. I didn't see you select nine. Like, so you didn't see me select nine. So yes. actually, okay. So let's go back and look at that components alone. So if we that that was the resistor, right? So I can yes. click on it. Uh, have I brought up anything? Okay. So the resistor. So if I click on it, I think something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me finish something else first. Okay. Uh, okay. close this. Let me close this. All right. So. If I click on this, I hope. All right. So if I click on this and hit F, F will bring up, uh, give me the chance to edit the footprint, right? If I click on F, so look at it. So you see what we, what I chose. The length is twenty-five mm. The width is nine, and the pitch. The pitch is the the space between the the the, the terminals, right, on the board. That is 27 okay now i chose this one because that was what is closer to what we want mm? if we come here those that are within the 20 zone okay so uh if we go to exactly 20 you see we don't have anything nine any weight that is nine is that okay that is cement okay mm -hmm. so that is why i chose that particular one i chose it because it was the one that was closest Okay, just it. But then, uh, for Digi Key, usually they will also give you the footprint. So if you come down here, we have document and media. You will see EDA models. Remember, EDA is Electronic Design Automation. So models, right? And if I click on this, sometimes you'll be lucky to get the footprint and even the 3D models. Okay, so you can see we have the footprint here and the 3d model is loading okay tomorrow i will show you how you install third party 3d model oh, but definitely this is not what we are looking for okay so uh that's my bad 
But then that that is the thing. So the values that I chose, I chose values that were closer to the dimensions that we saw mm -hmm. online. Okay. Yeah. And this would work. This would actually work. It would actually fit. Okay. Understand. Do you do you understand? Okay. Yeah, yes. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other That's questions? All. Yes. Any other questions? Yes. Any other questions? All right. So if there are no questions, then quickly let's go back to business.